Hi there guys and welcome to another Fusion 360 uh, tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to um, use the fit spline sketch feature okay so um, I also covered this in my tutorials on how to model the um, C clamp um, but this is going to be a specific tutorial for those who want something short and simple on the fit spline so we'll go ahead and create a sketch on our top plane here and um, I'm going to create a rectangle we'll make it a center point rectangle and this is going to be a construction line and we'll make it uh, 75 by 160 okay this can be any size you want I mean this is just an example so we have our center point rectangle here and now I'm going to add some points okay so we'll start with uh, a point and we'll snap it to the midpoint here it's gonna be our start position okay and I'm going to add also the same point over here and now um, if we grab our line tool I'm going to draw a line and it's again a construction line it's going to be a random length for now okay and now we'll make that line uh, the point coincident with this line here so it's going to snap to that line and now if I drag this around it's going to stay on that line it cannot be taken off that line because it's coincident with it okay now we throw on two dimensions one is going to be the dimension of our line there and the other dimension let me that 20 the other dimension is going to be from here to here we drag that down there okay and we'll make that 20 as well so we have uh, a dimension there now we'll add another control point and we're going to put that here again I'm going to snap it to there or we can draw it out in space and move it there a tip that I got was to draw it out in space and move it to where you want it to be so you can be sure that it has gone to where you want it to be and it's coincident with where you want it to be so we take that point and make it coincident with this oops sorry that was perpendicular um, coincident this point and this point yeah okay and now again we can only drag it along this line okay and we'll place that there and again the same thing we're going to put a dimension on this and we'll make this one 25 and we'll make the dimension here uh, 35 okay so we've got a couple of control points there we'll add another one and we'll put that one over here so again we'll draw a line whoops that was a fit display and that isn't what we wanted we wanted a straight line here jumping ahead of myself there and coincident again snap it into where we want it to be oops and dimensions again so we'll make this one 35 and we'll dimension in from the edge here and we'll make that one 40 okay so now we've got a series of random points in here right um, I mean obviously if you were modeling something for real you'd have proper measurements and everything I'm just showing you the basics of how to use the fit display so now you can select fit display and we can start here ah, we'll turn off our construction line fit display start here and then we're gonna go around and click on these points okay there we go alright so now we've got our shape now you can go in and you can edit these dimensions and as you edit them you'll see that our spline shape changes it follows 
these points. So you can begin to come in and edit your spline and you know everything that you do will then be reflected downstream. So if we finish the sketch here and extrude this out, let's see, 50, there's our body, there's our shape. Now if we go back and edit this sketch, because we fully constrained everything, we can go in and edit these numbers. You make this 10, 40, 50, and finish sketch, and everything downstream, all of our downstream processes will be updated to follow that new shape. Okay? So there's just a really quick introduction to the fit to splines and how to use them um, properly so that they are properly constrained and you can always go back and edit them and their positions and it won't affect any of your downstream processes okay so I hope you found this useful if you did hit the thumbs up remember to subscribe keep up to date with your latest tutorials from fusion360tutorials.com